Texas A&M has found their next head coach. It was reported last Monday that Texas A&M had hired Duke's Mike Elko. Elko was the DC at Texas A&M from 2018 until 2021 and then left to take the job at Duke. In November, the Aggies fired Jimbo Fisher and agreed to his record buyout, which at the time was set at almost $76 million. During Fisher's time with the Aggies, he went 45-25, and but had a disappointing 27-21 record in the SEC. When they fired Fisher, AM was 6-4 and and coming off a blowout win over Mississippi State. The 46-year-old has also had stops at Bowling Green, Wake Forest, and Notre Dame before he joined Texas A&M. According to reports, the Aggies agree to a six-year deal. Elko will make about $7 million per year. He also has incentives in his contract that include making the CFP and winning a playoff game. It also includes winning the title. During Elko's time at Duke, he took over a team that had gone 3-9 and nine the year before. In two seasons at Duke, Elko went 16-9 and nine and 9-7 and seven in conference play. This season, the Blue Devils went 7-5 and five but struggled with injuries all year as star quarterback Riley Leonard went down with an ACL tear. They also had other injuries as well that included their O-line all over their defense, and they were also down to their third-string quarterback. Last season, Duke went 9-4 and four and won the Military Bowl. Even though Mike Elko seemed like a slam dunk for the Aggies, they originally wanted Kentucky's Bob Stoops. However, at the last minute, Stoops decided to stay at Kentucky. Texas A&M has yet to win a conference championship since 1998 when they were in the Big 12. They have yet to win the SEC since joining. In 2020, A&M went 9-1 and one and won the Orange Bowl. Mike Elko was the D.C. in 2020 and their defense was a top 10 D. This season, they went 7-5 and five and failed to beat a ranked team despite having a top 10 recruiting class.